Hi, I'm Danielle, and this is Chatter Out Loud, a podcast where I share thoughts and TV commentary on shows I like to watch. Now, before I start, I want to ask that you go ahead and like, follow, share, and subscribe. And on YouTube, where I upload my companion episode of the podcast, be sure to hit the notification button. This way you can get a notification every time I post a new episode and you won't miss out. It doesn't cost you anything to follow and subscribe, so go ahead, hit that button. I'd appreciate it. And thank you in advance. All right. So let's get into the premiere night of Big Brother Canada season 10. And throughout the remainder of this episode and the remainder of the season, I'll refer to this season as BB Can 10. Um, This episode, we meet the house guests. I believe what we're watching um, is when they first enter the home so that it's their day one, but they've been in the house now for five days. Right. So a lot has transpired between (laughs) uh, day one and then uh, now I think we're on day five. They've been in the the house for five days. So what we're seeing um, on air tonight is the episode um, of when they first moved in the house. Okay. All right. So uh, we get a look at the house. Um, It's a retro game show theme. Uh, The house decor Uh, It just pops. It's bright. It's loud. It's retro. It's fun. It definitely catches your eye. Um, And that's one difference about um, BB Can and BB US. Like BB US, they have, the homes are great. um, And the rooms and the the themes are all, they're, they're great. But BB Can, their decor is so colorful and it's just so loud and so bright um and that's one of the differences one of the differences i see in um in the homes watching uh bb cam all right so if you're watching youtube where i upload my companion episode of the podcast um, i'm sharing pictures of the house so make sure you check that out Oh, and before I get into the, the premiere night, I want to mention a few things. The winner of BB Can wins the grand prize of $100,000 plus $10,000 wardrobe plus a trip from Expedia. Okay, so that's not that's not bad. And $100,000, that's in Canadian dollars, obviously. And if you, I think that's $80,000 in US dollars, right? So that's not a bad prize. They win 100, 100K plus $10,000 um, for a wardrobe and then or $10,000 value um, of a wardrobe, right? So they'll pick clothes and stuff up to $10,000 worth. Uh, and then they win a trip uh, from Expedia. And I wonder if there's any restrictions on where the trip can go. I'm sure there's probably um, a restriction on or a limitation, I should say, on how many people will travel, probably two people. And then where can they go? Anywhere in the world? I'm not sure. I have to look that up. But that's a nice prize. And I also want to note that the house guests have been isolated for over two weeks before moving into the house. And as of the time that the episode aired tonight, they've been in the house for five days. Okay. So let's get more into the premiere night. Yes? All right. So they begin with a few highlights of past BB Can seasons, and it captures the essence of BB Can, Big Brother, right? They give, um, they show signs of people upset and arguing and alliances and winning games and stuff like that. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool how they um, show all of that. BB US, they don't do that. <laughs> they don't show previous seasons. Um, they show previous episodes within the season, but I like how BB Can shows clips from prior seasons like we saw Ika in one of the clips um and quite frankly that's all I know I think we probably saw Tyshawn he won last year um but those are the only two I think I can name (laughs) from Canada to be honest um and Brayden yeah Brayden I see him a lot uh on online so those probably the only three I can name um, besides the, the 16 house guests I'm going to name tonight. All right. So uh, Arissa comes out. She introduces the house guests uh, or introduces the house guests um, to America or to Canada. I got to say to Canada, right? We're not in America. So she's going to introduce the house guests. She introduces them four groups 
the four groups of four, right? So four group, four people. <laughs> I'm going to try that again. All right. She introduces four groups of four, right? So four people go into the house um, at a time. All of them had the same reaction in terms when they went in the house. They all were excited and screaming and running and introducing themselves. And that's as expected, right? We always see that. All right. So the first four were Summer. She's fun employed. She's goofy. She's petty. This is the girl that I mentioned in the last BB Can um, episode that she was the one that uh, she had a coworker she did not like. And she didn't like her so much uh, that she applied to be on the BB Can show only because that was the coworker's favorite show. <laughs> so she did it. She got on. And now she says her coworker has to look at her on the show for the next 70 days. <laughs> uh that's pretty petty. Um, but it just made me laugh. Um, and she's not into trying to hook up into the house. It, it, excuse me. She's not for a hookup in the house. All right. Then we have Gino the Greek. He's a firefighter. He says he's fearless. He's still scared of the dark because dark he sleeps with a nightlight on. Um, and we have to see how that plays out, right? Because in BBUS, when they turn off those lights, it's, it's like dark. You can't see anything. I mean, in on the past season of Celebrity Big Brother, we've seen um, SNL Chris, Chris Kattan. We've seen him fall all over the room because it was so dark, you know? Uh, okay. Um, going back to Gino the Greek. Uh, he is big on family and he's super affectionate. And he's pretty cute. So I can imagine how the ladies are going to react to him. And that he's the one that has a tattoo all the way up to his chin, you know? It's got a little appeal there. Mm-hmm. All right. JC Lynn. She is um, or was or maybe she still is a competitive figure skater. Right. And she's very competitive. So I can see her really going for HOHs and competitions. So we have to see how that plays out. Then we have Dr. Josh. Right. That's how he referred to himself as Dr. Josh. So that's how I'll refer to him. Uh, refer to him. Um He's a pediatric resident. Um, he has a man. I wonder if he went in saying, I'm going to be called Dr. Josh. Uh, as just in, a, um, what am I trying to say? I'm wondering if he chose to say Dr. Josh uh, in homage to Dr. Will. You know, BBUS. Dr. Will was a big player. He, you know, people know who he is. He had good gameplay. Um, I wonder. Anyway, I don't want to think about that too much more. Um, all right. So the first four, they enter the house. And when they enter the house, they enter on the second level of the house. So BB Can has two levels of the, ho- the house. Um, so they enter through the, the, the top level. Um, they have mystery doors, which are locked because they all try to open some of the doors. So there's doors with numbers on it. And again, if you're um, listening through uh, the companion episode on YouTube, um, if you happen to look at the screen, I'm showing you pictures of the house as well. So you have to check that out. All right, JC uh, JC Lynn, she's already calling the first alliance, right? (laughs) She was like, why don't we just call it the first four? Because they're the first four in the house. Well, no, she said she wanted an alliance um, because they're the first four. So she wanted to make an alliance with them and they named it the Honey Bunch. <laughs> so we have our first alliance uh, that we that we see, you know, air tonight. And that was started by J.C. Lynn. It's called the Honey Bunch. All right. The second uh, group of four are Jay, Tanisha, Stephanie and Kyle. Jay, uh, they are the theater director um, they will try to direct the house like they direct the play. Tanisha is a mom. She's very bubbly. Um, and she thinks she'll be the mama bear of the house. Uh, Stephanie is a child youth worker. She works for, um, oh, she says she works hard for her body, her body. Part of her clip showed her working out and she's really into herself and her body. Um, she needed to tell Canada. She needed to tell Canada that she gets, on average, four to five DMs a day. All right. Uh, And she's open to love or open for love in the house. So I can see her 
being in a um a showmance maybe all right so kyle he's a podcaster now apparently there was a kyle on bb can nine the last season and um people say that that kyle and this kyle they i guess they look alike they're they're they they're twins or something no they're not twins in real life but they look alike because people um were getting them confused even one of the house guests marty i believe he said oh when i looked at you i thought you were from the last season and i said oh you're back (laughs) but this is a different kyle he's a podcaster um i think he's pretty young he's 23 um and he said he's open for a flirt mance now i've hadn't heard of a flirt mance before uh, I envision that's close to a showmance, right? But yeah, that's what he said. All right, so this second group of four, in addition to the first group of four, they all begin to wave in summer. She was like, hi, <laughs> hi, hi. It just was, it was really cute. Um, so Summer and Jay, they enter the mystery room with the phone. Like trying to figure out what is this? What is this? And Jay immediately leaves, say, I'm getting out of here. Um, Summer stayed behind and she's playing around in the room, checking it out, and then doing a little dancing because she's all hyped, like, I bought Big Brother. What? Um, so she's so excited. She was like, Canada, I'm living my best life. <laughs> uh, she's a cute girl. Um, she she seems like she's a lot of fun. I am interested to see how she plays this game. Um, all right. Uh, and at this point, the first two groups are beginning to claim rooms. All right. The third group of four are Betty, Moose, Helena, and Kevin. Betty, uh, she says she's a take no ish type of person. She's a business manager. She plans to be cutthroat and her alter ego is B money. (laughs) That's the partier in her. So B money. And they showed her doing her little dance and stuff. (laughs) All right, uh, Moose. He loves sports, and I believe this is the this is the guy that also in one of his clips they didn't show it tonight, but I think he has a lot of celebrity friends, and he plans to keep that under wraps because he doesn't want the other house guests to think like he's high profile or he doesn't want that to impact his game. I, I don't know how knowing celebrities impact your game, but I I, I suppose right. All right, Helena, she's a master's student. Uh, she is uh, self, she, she says she's clumsy and she's dorky. Um, by the way, when she was doing her clip, she dropped her phone while she was trying to record. <laughs> so that, that showed how clumsy she was. Um, and I'll talk about her a little later on tonight because we really know this girl is clumsy. So I want to see how she performs like in endurance competitions. Um, all right. Kevin, he's a sales manager. He is not humble. He says he has a high IQ, so he's going to be the smartest house guest in the house. He wants so bad to be the villain. And if you listen to my last episode, on my last BB Can episode, this was the guy I was referring to about the person that wanted to be a villain so bad. He knows this game inside and out. Uh, He knows Canada won't like him. And he plans to send home everyone that Canada loves. Um, and it's so funny because he was, he says he's not humble, but he was very humble when he got eliminated from the HOH competition. (laughs) I'll talk about that in a second. All right. Uh, this third group as they're, um, going in or the, as they enter the house and walking around and introducing themselves, Arissa, oh no, actually this is before they enter the home. Um, they're, before the house gets into the home, they are on the stage with Arissa. Um, so Arissa told the four, these four, um, she's challenging them to play harder than they ever had before. Now, I suspect that she told all of the house, all the groups the same thing. It's just that the way it was edited, it seemed like that the third group got this um, little, you know, speech from Ar- Arissa to challenge them she's challenging them to play harder than ever before or than they ever had all right now they enter the home they mingle they're introducing each other and then i missed something because a few of the girls were bonding over pickles they started screaming and hugging it's like yeah i love pickles 
I, I think that's what they said. And I missed that. So I have to go back and watch it once they post it uh, for me to uh, rewind and go back and forth. So I have to look at that again just to see what was the excitement over the pickles. I, I didn't understand it. Three of them love pickles. So <laughs> I, I think one of them were, I can't remember which girls, but I, I just know that they were all like, yes, and all screaming and hugging <laughs> like they won something. Um, so at this point, they're all sitting at the table with their drinks and Helena, remember earlier I said, she said she was clumsy and dorky. Um, she drops the wine glass on the table (laughs) and she was horrified. She was so embarrassed. So she picked up the glass, went into the storage room, talking herself, um, into regrouping and resetting and was like, come on, girl, come on, come on. You can do this. Um, I'm like, oh, all right. And then the last group of four, um, or before they introduced the last group of four, four, Arissa uh, gave a um, a couple of sentences or, you know, um, (laughs) I'm so excited. Uh, This big brother does this to me. Let me try again. Before the four house guests entered the home, Arissa honored the land of the indigenous heritage. So I thought that was a nice touch, right? All right. So the last group of four were Marty, Jess, Herman, and Malena, right? Marty is a fraud investigator. He is the one that's the oldest in the house. He's 43. He considers himself a goof. Um, Jess, they are a visual artist, right? And they are a super fan. Herman, he's charismatic. He's la- well, uh, These are the, the people uh, describing themselves, all right? He says he's charismatic, charismatic. He's loud. He's confident. He's the top five car salesman in Canada. Good for him. And they showed a little clip where he bought his mom her first car or a car. So that was nice. And Milena, uh, she's a waiter. And I think she's a tattoo artist as well. She's another one that has a tattoo all the way on her, up to her neck. Right? Um, She doesn't like a lot. Uh, She went through this whole list of things that she does not like. (laughs) Um, And she says she hates most people, but she loves her little sister. (laughs) So she's going to get along great with everyone, right? (laughs) Okay, so as we see in every uh, premiere night or, or day one in the house when all the guests are finally together, there are introductions, they're picking rooms. Um, I heard one of the house guests said there were only eight beds. Now, there's 16 house guests, eight beds. So I wonder if they share beds, you know. Um, there was a little flirting between Herman and Summer. Um, well, actually he was flirting with her. He likes the way she looks. Right. So I think he made a comment about how she looks, um, not a negative comment, but more so like, yeah, uh, I think they said, oh, we got to check it out. He's like, I'm going to check you out or something to that effect. Don't quote me. Um, but he definitely was flirting with Summer. Um, and Summer's a really pretty girl. So, you know, but remember she says she's not interested in the hookup in the house. She's here to play. (laughs) All right. Moose. He'll be celebrating a birthday in the house. Apparently his birthday, well, I was going to say his birthday is tomorrow, but I have to remember that when we're watching this, it's day five in the house. So his day, his birthday were, was about four days ago, I think. Um, and then another observation I made was Helena. She gets so nervous around people. I think she kind of mentioned that in her clip, um, but they're all getting along. They're all introducing themselves. Um, and then Arissa comes on the screen, right? And she announces that there are gifts in the bedroom upstairs. And it looks like um, once we see all the house guests run upstairs and go through the bags, it looks like uh, it looks like clothing and some type of wardrobe. And they're all going through the bags. And they're like, ooh, ah, you know. And then all of a sudden they hear the phone ring. Right. And earlier, I I, I mean, we didn't see this. We only saw two people go into the mystery room with the phone tonight, um, the way they edited it. But I believe that because when they first, you know, when they first go in the house, they're all going around and that room was open. So 
when they heard the phone ring, everyone was like, oh man, we got to go down. So they ran to the room. Now the first person who got in, who went into the room was Jay. Um, and the door locked behind them. Right. So Jay picked up the phone and he said, uh, they said, hello. (laughs) And they said, it's big brother. So big brother was telling Jay, uh, that they earned safety for the week and they will not compete in tonight's HOH competition. So by just merely being the first one to get into the mystery room and answer the phone, they won safety for the week. And how about that? And of course, he immediately or they immediately come out of the room and announce what Big Brother told them. And at first I thought I would have held on to that information and kept it to myself and probably made up a lie. But the fact that Big Brother said that they couldn't play in tonight's HOH, I don't know how Jay would have explained it, you know. So Jay did the right thing. All right, let's get into the HOH competition really quickly. It was called the Doors of Destiny. Um, And by the way, they wore the clothes that they had in the bag um, when Arissa told them to go upstairs, go upstairs. um, There's a gift and the gifts were clothes. They wore those clothes in the competition or during the competition tonight. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out. Um, So the HOH competition is the first one of the season. It's called Doors of Destiny. Um, It's a random drawer to play. Uh, There's one, yeah, there's a random drawer, right, to play. Yeah, there's a random drawer to play one of the three games. So each game is a round, and the winner of each round advances to the next round, right? Right. So the first round was a puzzle round. Herman won that. The second round were questions of first impressions of the house guests. And that was an elimination round. So if you answered the question correctly, you eliminate another player. So in the end, Moose uh, won that round. And here's why I say where I uh, what I meant by saying Kevin, who wants to be the villain so bad, in his clip, he says, I am not humble. But when he answered a question correctly, he had the, when he, meaning Moose, answered the question correctly, by answering that question correctly, you can eliminate another player. And so Moose eliminated Kevin. And Kevin's like, I didn't even do anything. <laughs> He was like, I didn't even do anything. It was hilarious. I'm like, are you humble now, Kevin? I don't know. He needs to rethink this trying to be the villain. Uh, It's not going to work for him. And I can see him going really, really fast. All right. The third round was a beanbag toss and the platform spin uh, spins, right? So they had to toss the beanbag on the platform and it was spinning. It was rotating as they were trying to throw it. And in the end, Dr. Josh wins that round. So they have uh, three rounds, three winners. Uh, the winners of each round, Herman, Moose, and Josh, they get to pick a door now. And one of the doors has the HOH inside of it, right? So they have to first decide amongst them who is going to pick which door. And it seemed like no one cared who which door they got. So they made a decision really quickly. The first door, uh, Dr. Josh had the first door, and that was safety. The second door, uh, Moose had that door, and that was also safety. And the third door was the HOH, and Herman had that door. So he is the first HOH of the season. All right. So by the end of the episode, we have the first alliance formed and named the Honey Bunch. And the Honey Bunch, um, that alliance has, that alliance has Summer, Gino the Greek, JC Lynn, and Dr. Josh. Uh, We learned that Herman is the first HOH of the season. We know that Jay Moose and Dr. Josh are all safe for the week. Jay was safe from answering the phone in the mystery room. And Moose and Dr. Josh are safe from winning their rounds during the HOH comp. All right. So I'm waiting for the live feeds to come on. They're probably on now while I'm recording. So I'll check them out. Um, I'll figure out a schedule to share 
what I learned on the live feeds. Um, this is my first time looking at live feeds for a BB can. So I have to figure out how I'm going to work that. So just give me some time and, and I'll do that. I'll make sure that when I uh, upload the live feed episodes, I'll make them separate and I'll make sure that I put the word spoiler in the title. I'll make sure I put the word spoiler in the title if I'm revealing something that has not aired yet. So don't worry. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that works. And the only reason I was hesitating is because I was thinking like in BBUS, um, like we all, those of us in the States, we all are <laughs> watching it. So it's necessary to put spoiler for those people that listen to my podcast that don't want to know. But in in Canada, for BB Can, because most of my audience is U.S., so is it really a spoiler? It, like the whole season is a spoiler because you can't see it unless you get a VPN. Anyway, I'm just, there's so much going through my head. But anyway, I guess I want to say I'll figure out a schedule for the live feeds, to report on the live feeds, Okay. All right. The first eviction is tomorrow night, Thursday night. It's going to be a live eviction. So I expect once the live feeds come back on, I'll learn who was nominated, who won the power of veto, and whether or not the nom stayed the same. Um, and it looks like the nomination ceremony, excuse me, it looks like the schedule for the season, they'll have the nomination ceremony on Sundays. They, they'll have the power of veto on Wednesdays, and then they'll have the live evictions on Thursday. And of course, live feeds are 24 seven. So, uh, I plan to, I'm going to try to do, um, an episode the same night as the episode airs. Yeah. After the episode airs, if not first thing in the morning, the next morning, and then live fees, they'll come as soon as I figure out a schedule um, of how I want to do that. All right. So the first episode is great. I'm loving it so far. Um, it's the first night it's big brother too. So I'm going to love it anyway, but, um, Yeah pretty good. All right, you guys. So that's all I have. So be sure to come back and give me a listen. I'd love for you to like, share, follow, and subscribe. You can also leave me a comment, leave me a message. If you're listening to the podcast, there's a link to leave me a message, um, right on the, um, the landing page. So do, do please check that out. All right. And my name is Danielle and you're listening to my podcast chatter out loud. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, I appreciate your support. And that's all I have. Thanks again for listening and I'll talk to you next time.